Welcome in YouTube to another episode of Mass Effect and Drama. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome in, welcome back. I appreciate each and every one of you. Go ahead and hit the like button if you're new to the channel. Hit that sub button. We are live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash DJ Viacal. Come drop a follow. Check us out Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, we do do bonus strums occasionally, so make sure you have notifications turned on. We already went through this door. Uh, there was a little cutscene talk and it asked us to speak to Crux. Let's go talk to Crux. Let's not get caught up there. Let's go ahead and... Oh, uh, can't save. Now can we? Yep. Good. Ah, uh, we just found the surveyor body. This is in that cave. There's a nice bit of uranium back there that we picked up. Oh, I'm sure that's where we need to go. Yeah? Sam, what's inside the cages? Judging from the scratching, body. <laughs> Sam, what are they doing with the Adi? It appears the Collective are attempting to domesticate the creatures. And how's that going? Aggression levels are lower than what we've seen in the wild. But I wouldn't recommend opening the cage. Well, that's what we call foreshadowing, possibly. Hello? Okay, you don't want to talk? Cool. Good talk. This might be... Building something like that out here. This might force us to pick an allegiance. Collective or the other group. Hopefully it doesn't. Realistically, I don't think I want to join either group. Shit. I am running with the wrong crew. Hey. <laughs> hey. Joking, but seriously, that's an impressive amount of merch. Okay, so let's check out what we got going on here. Just Did peg the collectivist gardeners. I've got to finish this. Hello? Interesting. Uh, I feel like we've done all of that. Oh, here's somebody to talk to. Are you a new recruit too? <laughs> no, just happened to stumble on this place. Oh, you're the Pathfinder. Crux said we're to be nice to you. <laughs> I'm new here, still trying to take everything in. Okay. Why join the Collective? I lived in Port my whole life. Then Sloan shows up and demands a protection fee. My family is still reading from encounters with Ket. We couldn't pay, so the outcast banished us to the Badlands. The Collective promised us protection and a chance to get back at Sloan. So I took it. See you around. Okay. See anything up here? Door. Uh oh. my people. Don't think so. Working on it. Uh, let's see. Open says me. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna yoink some of your stuff. <laughs> Data pad. I wonder who the uh, Charlton is going to be. Very shadow brokerish. You'll remember them from parts uh, one and two. I don't think they were in three. We had already dealt with shadow broker at that point.
Okay. Pathfinder, you caught me off guard. We don't receive many visitors. I didn't come here to cause problems. You just have interesting timing. Someone's been faking the charlatan's orders, giving bad intel. It got two of our recruits killed. Someone impersonating the charlatan could do a lot of damage. Only the representatives have access to such high-level information. The boss knows it's someone operating out of this base. It's my job to find the culprit. So what's the holdup? The imposter could bolt at the first sign of suspicion. I need a subtle way to smoke them out. Why would someone risk impersonating a charlatan? Greed is a powerful motivator, Pathfinder. The Collective has access to supplies, credits, you name it. And mm -hmm. we only answer to one person. Maybe I could help? I'm not connected to the Collective. A curious outsider would raise less suspicion than an official representative. That's true. All right, Pathfinder. Here's what we know. The drop point was in the Sulphur Springs, so the imposter should have high levels of sulphur in their clothes. Sam sensors should be able to detect that. Anything else? We found footprints that could be human or Asari, but too smudged to get an exact size. Mm -hmm. That's all my intel. Level hype. Okay, so we gotta scan these people. All right, maybe not. Hmm, let's see. Oh, yep. Sulfur levels are on the high side, but not by a large percentage. And she's a sorry, which fits her footprint bill. Can't rule her out yet. She's worth further investigation. Uh, looks like I'm not flash you. Another room. Hello. Titanium. Who the hell are you? Does the collective make a habit of torture? First off, that doesn't answer my question. Hmm? And second, I hardly call this torture. Just persuasion. Whatever you say. So, who are you? Just a visitor. Visitor? You're the Pathfinder, then. Crux said we should be on our best behavior around you. Bet. Why? Don't know, but I'm not about to argue. The Collective do this a lot? Lock people up? Beat them? We ask nicely first. It only goes badly for the stubborn ones. Why are these people locked up? Because they deserve it. Wow. That guy set off a bomb near the slums, then tried to blame it on us. They're filth, Pathfinder. Every last one. Lucky. Good. Say so. I've got to get back to work. Oh, data pad. Hello. Charlotte will hear about it. Interesting. Interesting. Sulfur levels are normal. Not our culprit then. I bet he is this one. Sulfur readings are low. Additionally, Angaran feet are distinct from humans and Asari. Can't hurt to check. Oh, titanium. Yes, please. High sulfur levels, but the footprints at the drop site contradict a Solarian's webbed feet. Just being thorough, Sam. It's gonna be this person. Well, it's gotta be this person, right? For the last one. Hello. Sulfur levels are high. 
Her footprints are of a similar shape to those left at the drop site. Could be our rat. Before accusing Dorado, perhaps you'd like to talk to her. She could have an alibi. True. True. Very true. Need something? Go bother Crux. You're a testy one. Sorry. Haven't slept in 36 hours, thanks to another shit job. Okay. 36 hours? That can't be healthy. Defying the charlatan's orders isn't healthy. I go where I'm told. You've never been tempted to manipulate your boss's orders? What? What do you mean? You know, fudge the intel. Use the Collective's resources to make a profit on the side? I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm done talking to you. No, oh, okay. Rami's heart rate spiked when you questioned her about the charlatan's orders. The lady doth protest too much, methinks. <laughs> a popular quote from Hamlet, one of William Shakespeare's most. Sam, I know where it's from. Yes, Pathfinder. <laughs> Sam. Sorry about before, not Maybe much traffic down together. here. Recruits are jumpy. You didn't shoot. That's all that matters. You're awfully good-natured about people pointing guns at your face. Yeah, Some of us have been territory. down here for months. I haven't seen the sun in weeks. Weeks? Seriously? I'm one of the few people who know how to operate the water filters. I've been trying to train a backup, but most recruits can't stand the smell. Not many <laughs> volunteers. I'd better get back to work. Thanks for the chat. What do you think of Lynx, Sam? Her explanation for the level of sulfur in her clothes was plausible, Pathfinder. Hmm. <laughs> oh, uh, well, they're pointing the finger at the first person. Hello, where are we going? Now? To a crux of the matter. Pathfinder, any luck finding the imposter? Dorado's clothes showed high levels of sulfur. When I questioned her loyalty to the charlatan, she became frantic. You asked her outright. I said to be discreet. Aquila, detain Dorado. Dorado? She's gone. Said it was on the charlatan's orders. Damn it. If the charlatan finds out, I let her get away. I'll take care of it. She can't have gone far. Okay, let's let's get her. I mean, yeah, you probably shouldn't have questioned her. Leave already or no? Is it this way or is it no, it's this way and then a left? I'm coming for you, Dorado. Come on. Proxis Rider. Did you find Dorado? She ambushed me. I had no choice but to take her out. Would have liked to question her, but at least it's done. Thanks, Pathfinder. Shields won't last in this stuff. 
No, they won't. All right, so I figured, I feel like we did everything here. Um, so that's the their base, so there is no way out. Like, I mean, obviously there's a way out, but there was no additional way out is what I'm trying to get at, which is unfortunate because I was hoping it would lead us like to the monolith. But here we are. This way. No. All right, so. I think it's this way, and then basically all the way that way, and then bang right. Not that one. Maybe it was that one. Nope. Okay, well, I mean, that was it. YouTube for Crux, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you want to help us grow, you can do it for free by smashing that sub button. Stay awesome, stay safe, YouTube. We will talk again later. Bye-bye.